They're not vaccine passports. They are data passports. They are participation passports. But they are. There's no medical reason behind these. If I had come to you two years ago and said, here's what the government want to do. They want to give everybody a chip. They want to put all your medical data and all your financial data onto that chip. That will be your complete ID and they can control you or shut you out of society from that. Ideally, they'd like to put a quantum tattoo so that they can remotely medicate you. That sounds absolutely insane. That's the road that we are going down right now. This is about a financial reset because the fiat currency has failed like every other one has before. And in order to keep the game going, they need a new financial system. This is why everybody, no exceptions, has to get one of these passports. This is why there's a drive to get absolutely everybody vaccinated. It's for the new system. The central bank digital currency is the end game, okay. they, along with totalitarian control. In order to bring in a central bank digital currency, you need a digital ID. In order to bring in a digital ID, you need these passports. That will all be combined with a social credit system and a carbon credits system. Central bank digital currency has all the good aspects of um, a fiat currency for the government and nothing of what is good for us. The only benefit we have of a fiat currency, a fiat currency is basically it's backed by nothing. It's a currency because the government say it is so. What we gain from that is privacy. That's what we are going to lose when we move into a central bank digital currency and we are, they are going to have complete control over every aspect of our finances. They can dictate where in the economy that you can spend it. They can say that you can only spend it in essential um, goods or on rent. They can fine you at will. They have complete control over every aspect of your finances. Now, when you link that into a social credits concept, they can sanction you or reward you. This has already been trialled in, I think, a um, province in northern China, where you go from a triple A rating down to a D rating. Triple A, you get preference for jobs, you get your children get preference for schooling. D, they can take your qualifications off you. Everybody has to buy into this. We have watched them move down, the, the propaganda move down the demographic. This started off with protect the vulnerable. Then it was the, went down the age groups, pregnant women. Now it's children. Everybody, without exception, has to buy into this. This is the new financial system. Why, why, why do they need children? Children are earning, they're not, you know, so right now, why are they after them right now? Well, they need to condition them and they still need to be part, right now children would still need to be part of the financial system. They also need the data from the children. We are moving into AI technology. Mm -hmm. Data is the new gold. Energy is the new currency, data is the new gold. With the children, they have them from a young age, they can track their behaviours. AI is only as good as the information that goes into it. So if you are gathering all this data from the children, you can program AI under the Obama administration. This last day in office, there was a paper that backed up by MIT that 83% of all jobs earning $20 or less will be automated away by 2030. The future is AI. That, they that, need the data. So that's a tremendous this. number of people, surely. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen to them? universal basic income. So they will be sitting at home getting a basic wage, but they won't be able to actually participate then. Is that what you're saying? Kind yes. of in, in terms of production, in terms of actually leading production? There won't be needed. Production. There will not be needed. In, uh, with the way the technology is going, they're expected not to be needed. It, is it inevitable? Are we, are we absolutely going to end up where these people who are organising this actually want us to go? If we continue to comply, yes. Um, the target is small to medium businesses because they account for 60% of all jobs and the target is the children. I don't know why anybody would get their child, let their child take part in this clinical trial there. They have to get them into the system. So in order for this new financial system, it's in order to participate in society right now, 
we have to have these passports. So how can they logically exclude children? How can children go to restaurants? And this is the coercion that they're going to use to get the children. The same coercion that they use for us. Mm -hmm. They're saying that if they want to go to teen discos, they're doing the exact same thing with children. They are going after the children. We have right now, we have the internet of things. They want to move into the internet of bodies. The internet of things is so your watch connects with your phone, your phone connects with your fridge, your TV. They Eating want system, you mm -hmm. know, like everything. They want it to be Internet of Bodies, where you connect via, in their words, an, in, an ingestible, a wearable, or an injectable. This is their words. So that you connect to all of this. This is all data that's available. Go and look at the WEF website, scroll down, Fourth Industrial Revolution. They want to blur the line between... Um, human and technology robots. The new currency has to be a digital one. Because of the age we live in, it has to be a digital one. In terms of what you can do, first thing you need to think of is, what future do you want for your children? Because you might think you're okay now, but this is the future that you are building. You're building your own prison. You're building a prison for your children. It's a series of dominoes. Take out those dominoes. Starts with vaccine passports. They're not vaccine passports. They're data passports. Data is the new gold and energy is the new currency. So take that out and everything falls apart. And the economy, honestly, the economy is failing anyway. There's, they're trying to put in this new financial system. Either way, you need to prepare. You need to ask yourself, are you prepared? Financially, are you prepared? That was the only thing that was addressed through the whole collapse. They only addressed the financial aspect. You were given money to stay at home. Are you prepared spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally? Because this is coming. There is no going back to the old world. This is the new world that we're going to be living in if they succeed. I don't feel that they will succeed. Maybe that's optimistic. I like your optimism. Well, when freedoms are reduced, eroded away, empires tend to collapse. That's the Roman, Ottoman, French Empire. That's why they collapsed. So I do have hope, but protect your children. Do not let your children participate in this passport system. Know that if you do, for the sake of going to a restaurant, that you are leading them into a social credits system and slavery. The consumer economy has failed. We're moving into a credits economy where you, now the rich can buy credits, but that's the world that you're going to be putting your children into a credit system where they will have to work off the debt that has been accrued. So it, it's like they've waged war against us. We are at war. Australia knows it, New Zealand knows it, Austria knows it. They're all out on the streets. We absolutely are at war. In a war situation, there is collateral damage. That's where we are standing with these injuries and deaths from this clinical trial that you, they're being completely censored. That information is being completely censored because it's essential to get us all on board. As I say, no exceptions. So we are in a war situation against a takeover, a globalist takeover from NGOs, non-government organisations, the WEF, the IMF, the UN, all of them. These billionaires and technology companies are dictating the future of humanity. And if we don't stand up, we are running out of time and we need to stand up. And it's simple. In a war situation, men have been front line at war, losing their lives. All we have to do is say no. That's all we have to do. Just mass non-compliance. That is the, the solution to this is mass non-compliance. What would you suggest they go out and do now? For me, this is going to be won by communities. So find people that are like-minded. That's going to keep your confidence up. 
do not give in and do not give up. If you give up now, you are given, if we don't fight this now, we are given our children twice the battle. It has, it has to be fought now. The quicker that we do this, the easier it is to get out of. So find your communities, find people, find your support network. And they are out there. They absolutely are out there. People think that they are alone. They're not alone. You're not crazy. Your intuition is correct. You need to get out there and meet with these people. We need to simply say no. Do not let your children participate in it. They are going for your children now. We need to put our energy into the future that we want to create. And if that's the currency, then we actually control it. It always has been the currency. They've printed paper and got us to work for paper under the fiction of paper for so long. We have been in a slave system for so long. <laughs> time to get out. Without time to get out of it. Time to realise that we are spiritual beings having a human experience and stop letting ourselves be distracted from that. Melissa, thank you so much for joining me today and uh, I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you.